Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into my channel. It's your girl Cassie Simmer back with another video. So if you are new to my channel, comment down below. I'm new. If you're not new, comment down below. I'm back so we can get this party started. So today we are going to be going over the MC Command Center settings. Um, I'm just going to be showing you guys the ones that I use. If you guys aren't familiar with MC Command Center, pretty much it's a mod that you can add into your game and it will help you make adjustments to your game to make it more to your liking instead of just all of the default settings. So I know me because I do a lot of let's plays or different like scenarios. I need things to be a certain way So if you also have this problem Then this is gonna be really really great for you in order to use MC command center Make sure that you have both enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed Script mods is not always automatically checked So make sure this is checked or else MC command center will not work all right, so the way to find MC Command Center once you are done downloading it is to click on your computer. It doesn't matter what kind of computer it is. You just click on it and then you'll see this um, option, MC Command Center. So let's start at the top. MCC settings. The MC Command Center module is necessary to link all the other modules together. All right, auto save. I don't use this because I just regularly save my game. And I feel like it piles up too many files. So, but if you want, you can you know do auto save use auto save gameplay settings this is where i kind of start so if enabled adopt ne neglected child if enabled when it is determined that a baby toddler or child is neglected they will be adopted by an npc household in the world rather than take away by social services if you have ever had a child taken away in the sims you know how heartbreaking this is and there's nothing that you can do about it to find that child again so when this is enabled they will go to a household that's already there and then you can actually find them and put them back into your household like give me my child back so yes um that's one of the first things that i always change and you will have to adjust the settings for each save file so I like that it's customized so this is a new save file that I'm doing so I wanted to bring you guys along and show you guys what I do bypass skill list um, I don't really do anything with this so not really gonna talk about that too much game time speed this for me is really good with my let's plays because I really don't have to play as fast so basically the number of real-time milliseconds for every sim second the default is 25 and less than that makes the days go faster and greater makes the days go slower so you could be on one end where you're like you feel like the days take too fast if you're like in college and you want to hurry up and get to the next class or hurry up and get to you know getting you know approved for college or whatever like you're trying to rush through college then if i were you i would um go down to like 25 that makes it go much faster if you want it to be slower like let's say me i'm doing let's plays and i need time and i want the days to last a little longer so i can have more sunlight to actually catch more scenes and do more things with the kids or whatever i'm doing then i may sometimes even go up to like you know 50. i feel like more than that makes it go way too slow but you know it all depends on what you're doing how you want to do it so yeah right now i'm going to keep it normal for this one well actually i might make it a little slower only because this is going to be a let's play save so yeah maximum household size this is already changed <laughs> so yeah default value is eight and if you're like you know doing challenges where you have to have a lot of kids or you want to adopt a lot of kids or whatever the case may be then i would you know definitely increase that number eight is really not that much it is going to be hard to manage all of those people in the house but hey if you want to do it you now have that option all you have to do is change the number to how many people you want in your house and there you go um household size maximum rename length okay so that's the length allowed for the first and last name when renaming a sim sim and mccc default is 14 um and cast or if that sim is modified and saved so i mean i really don't care about this whole thing but if you want to rename this sim like a really long name there you go maximum value is 255 all right motive decay this is good for let's plays or things that you're going to be recording and you don't really see the motive like for my teen pregnancy series all of them are on um uh no motive decay as you can see zero 
so it just stays green pretty much no matter what they're doing it's just always green um so i mean if you you want to make it super hard for yourself you can do like um you can do it faster if you want to make it like a super fun challenge um where it's double mode of decay 200 so the higher that you go you know you can you know have fun with that but they're just going to be hungry and wanting to go to the bathroom and all this stuff all the time and it takes a lot so but you can change that if you want to see how it goes but me i just if I'm doing a let's play or something and it's not so much on what they need but just trying to show the actions of what they're doing and I need them to do what I need them to do and not be like looking for food or using the bathroom then that's really helpful for that um yeah and you can do the same thing with cats dogs babies stuff like that and same thing with fame like if you don't want the fame to decrease you can do that um motives yep all right so next up pause on zone don't use that sims die on lot I don't use that but let me see Kill some of them. We will only show up if they are on the lot. If they are wandering the streets, they will just turn to ghosts. Okay, I mean, you can kind of use that at your own discretion. I don't really use that. What? A lot of my sims don't die. <laughs> I don't let them die, so Wait, I don't really deal with that. Um, skill difficulty adjustment. So, this will change the skill progression to be slower or faster. Valid settings are from negative um, 50 to 10 with a default of 0. Negative is slower progress, positive is faster. So, 9 times out of 10, if I change this, I'm changing it to 10. Like, I want them to learn their skills as fast as possible. So, I'm just going to go ahead and change that. Um, skill difficulty, blacklist, all that's going to say is, you know, if you want them to still take their time and learn how to paint properly without it being super fast, then you'll just put painting on the blacklist. Um, teleport, sim, overlap. All that does is if you teleport a sim to another sim in another place, they'll teleport right on top of them instead of next to them. So I don't know why this comes in handy, why you wouldn't just want them to teleport next to them, but maybe somebody else knows about that. Um, and use random aging. This came about in the, the fame um one where basically they don't just start at zero they start like randomly um like they'll start at already 10 days old or something like they won't just start at zero so yes that's gameplay settings next up is money settings allow child to play pay bills i don't have this enabled only because my kids don't live alone but if you wanted to do a let's play series where you have orphan kids or something and you need them to pay bills you can use that apartment bill percent basically negative 100 will be no bills 100 will be double bills so default value is zero so if you wanted to cut your bills in half you would just do negative 50 like so so i'm going to do that even though they don't live in an apartment but you can still do the change bills percent and that would be the same thing for the house just negative 50 would split it in half um auto pay bills enabled it's so much easier to just auto pay bills instead of having to to the computer or the mailbox child support percent the percent of a parent sims value that will be billed each month if they're paying child support on this includes lot value plus household funds um i mean you can change this if you want to change this to like five percent just to get you a little more um let's see inheritance sim type when a sim dies the setting determines whether or not they leave any of their household funds to their spouse or children i would say both yeah i would say all leave it to everybody or you can do inheritance spouse first i mean you can do it either way you want but yeah pay child support if a child is not living with both parents this setting can allow money to be removed from or paid to the active sim yes child support payments and earnings will happen for single parents with children living with them regardless of the married status or you can choose only if they're married and then divorce they have to pay child support but i would say everybody if y'all don't live together no more somebody gotta pay child support um all right so next up is notification console menu settings i don't change any of this stuff let me know if you guys do but i don't 
um, allow teen parenting I enable that because that's just real life break up settings um, break up move out sim I don't use this because if I want to change where a sim lives I just change it myself it really doesn't matter on the breakup sometimes they break up and still live together so I don't really change that friendship decay percentage and this um, I mean I feel like my friendships don't really decay that fast but I feel like if you're somebody who is has like the friendly trait or social like social type traits and stuff and you suffer from friends like losing some of those um points or whatever then you can just you know have it decay way slower so if you want to do that you would just do negative no you would just do like 50 50 yeah or 25 or even zero if you just don't want it to decay at all same thing with um relationship difficulty same exact thing if you want you know after y'all get married and you know start focusing on the kids y'all don't have as much time for yourself so that's kind of where that comes in the rom the romance starts to go down um friendship difficulty adjustment i always do this because i feel like it takes so long to become best friends <laughs> and um i feel like this just helps a lot so yeah a positive is faster so I just feel like that helps a lot to make it same thing with romance a lot easier to get these relationships progressed faster um, set age span duration I mean this I don't really change it in here because I always use either this to do my um, lifespan I'll either just do normal so no oh yeah i don't age my sims what am i talking about so yeah i just age them myself like i don't auto age anybody if you auto age people then that would be a good one for you but i don't so mc Cass don't really use this but um the one thing that i would would do with this is the parent values variant percent i like for you know the kids to look like the parents so i increase this Use parent skin tones, enabled. Um, yeah, or their skin details. Use parent attributes. Yes, like I like for the kids to look like their parents. So, um, yep. Other than that, I really don't change too much in MC cast. MC career, fill car career inactive only. No don't really use this and i don't do children quit school teens quit school because um i don't know i just like them to finish school career difficulty adjustment if you want to move up faster in your career then i would change it to like mm, maybe like five the maximum is 10 you're gonna move up super fast so i still want it to be realistic so i'll do like five but yeah um university difficulty you can do the same thing to like five Help you get some better grades um mc cleaner don't use that mc clubs don't use that mc dresser don't use that mc occult don't use that population nope don't really use that mc pregnancy i use this <laughs> um adoption ages i do baby toddler child teen Adoption percent male. No, wait, hold on. That's not what I'm doing. Ooh, identical offspring chance. I increase that because I'm if I'm having twins, I want it to be like a higher chance of being identical. Maximum household children. That already works into maximum household size, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, offspring gender. If you want to like change the chances of certain genders, you just do that. Other pregnancy don't really change much on that um mc tuner change interaction behavior so if you guys saw my um video on kids taking care of babies you can also change that here like allow child baby care and you just enable it mine is already enabled so yeah that's it for the computer you can also do mc command center on your mailbox 
you just go to MC Cheats. The ones that I use on the mailbox are Sum and Sim. This is so much easier um, by like just clicking on them. And that way you don't have to ask them to come over. It could be one in the morning, two in the morning, and they'll still be like, okay, I'll be right over. Like you don't have to worry about them sleeping or anything when you do it this way. Um, and then unhide, hidden, hide households. Nope, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that dresser clean all sims change all outfits i love this when you're doing like parties um you can change all outfits like if you're doing a pool party you can change all outfits to swimwear if you're doing like a formal wedding and some people show up and they're not in the right attire you can change to formal so that's super easy see how everybody just changed just like that i love it i love it so easy you don't have to go in one by one and change all their outfits um let's see what else here active household sheets fill needs mine is already filled but that's a way to do it as well um active household sheets nope change world time this is come this comes in handy when you're like waiting for like a letter or something or waiting for you know um, acceptance to college and they say it like takes two three days or something sometimes I'll just be like okay can we go to the next day offset day and then it will like fast forward to the next day like they'll just go through all the stuff they were gonna do anyway and then it'll be Saturday so once you do that you can go to seasons cheats you can change a season to fall spring summer or winter half the time i don't change the season i'll just change the weather like if i want it to be sunny i'll just change it to sunny if i want it to rain or something if i'm trying to do like a, um like a certain like theme or something i'll change it if i want it to do snow i'll just change it to snow but other than that i just change the actual weather not the season yeah, so last but not least, you can click on the actual sim to use MC Cheats. I love how that baby is just sitting there floating. But yeah, <laughs> MC Command Center, modify household and cast that will take you straight to cast. MC Cast that will change like certain things. MC Cheats, you can increase funds, cheat sim info, skill cheats if you want to set a certain skill to one level, like if you want her to like bake something but her baking skill isn't high enough you just change it to 10 um mood buff control like sometimes if i want to control how my sim is feeling at that moment like teen pregnancy if i want my sim to be super sad and they're just sitting there happy i can add a buff that only lasts for you know a certain amount of time and that way you can see here like i'll just find like a really sad one i don't want to put one on right now but you can literally put it on and then they'll be sad or happy or mad or whatever it is or if there's a buff there that you don't want on your sim you can remove that buff like they have these energetic ones like you can find the energetic ones or whatever it is and then just like take it off so yeah see how that just took it off so yeah cheat emotion intensity you can either i don't like to do these ones only because these ones last way too long i'd rather the buffs because at least the buff only lasts like two three four hours these ones can last like days sometimes so it's hard to take them off but yeah you can do it this way too if you don't care like how long it is or you can put it record whatever you're recording and then just not save it so that way it doesn't save but this is the easiest way to do it it just turns them mad or sad right away um career cheats you can career promote them in their career i don't know if she has a career okay she does all right see right away there you go she got a promotion change vacation days you can add more um you can quit the job from there expansion cheats increase celebrity level university cheats you can enroll in a university if you didn't get accepted into the one you wanted you can enroll accept all degrees award all degrees award specific degree stuff like that if you want to cheat through school um you can make them happy you can increase their points whether they have a retail shop you can do retail restaurant at satisfaction points that's like their points here that they get like you know 
little trait points and stuff veterinarian or followers um yeah so that is about it i was trying to rush through it because i know it's a lot and i don't want to like make a super long video but i hope you guys got the gist of it see promotion and i will see you guys in the next video bye